this is an unknown current problem. The two components of current are set and drift. In this problem, that's what we're looking for. What were the set and drift of this current that acted on us? The problem says, at 1020, your position is 4111 north, longitude 7150 west. You're on course 56 per standard magnetic compass at 9.2 knots. At 11.12, your position is 41.15.9 north, 71.41.7 west. What were the set and drift? So let's start off by finding our position. Gave us a starting position, 41.11 north, 71.50 west. 71.50 west is a meridian marked on the chart here. So now we get 41.11 north and we mark it on this meridian. At 71.50 make a mark. This is our starting point. Now let's find our ending point. Our ending point is at 41.15.9 71.41.7 so 41.15.9 north. Let's get that. We line up east to west again. And we walk this up to 41.15.9. We make a mark. Now we get our longitude. It was 71.41.7. Point seven. Forty one point seven. Forty one point seven. There we go. Forty one point seven. Okay. There's our ending point. So we have a starting point and we have our ending point. It's crucial to plot these accurately to get this problem correct. And now it says when we set off from our starting point, we were on course 56 PSC. In order to put that on the chart, we have to convert it to true. 56 PSC, the deviation table for 56 gives 4 east. 56, we're going up, plus 4 east equals 60, minus 15 west equals 45 degrees true. Now we plot this 45 degrees true from our starting point toward 45. So we'll get our dividers again, go from the center, put it right on 45, bump our parallel rules on it. Now we have 45 on our parallel rules. We walk it to the starting point and we strike a line. Nice long one. Okay, this is the course that we should have followed. This is our dead reckoning course. We reckon we are following this line. How far down that course should we have gone? So we need to calculate a distance. Distance equals speed times time. And we have an elapsed time. It gave us an ending time and a starting time. We subtract the starting time from the ending time. Here, 11.12 minus 10.20, 52 minutes. Now, in order to put it into our formula for time, we have to convert the minutes to hours, which 52 minutes divided by 60 equals 0.87 hours. Now we can calculate the distance down our dead reckoning line. Our speed was given in the problem, 9.2 knots. Our time we calculated in hours was 0.87 hours. Distance equals speed times time. 9.2 knots times 8.7 hours equals 8 nautical miles. So we'll get 8 nautical miles on our dividers. Come to the latitude scale. 7, we get 8 nautical miles. And we go from our starting point, 8 nautical miles down the line, and we mark it. So with no current, we would have traveled 8 nautical miles at 45 degrees true. 
but we actually ended up in this position. So now we can calculate the set and drift of the current. The set is the direction the current pushed us. The drift is the speed that we traveled in that direction. So let's find set and drift. I always like to bump my parallel rules up against my dividers. This also gives me a distance. So we'll bump the parallel rules up against them. Walk it down to the compass rows. This part can get tricky. From our DR line to where we actually ended up, that's the side of the compass. So from the center toward where we actually ended up. 141, 141 degrees true. That was our set. Now our drift is a speed in knots. Speed equals distance over time. So we need a distance. How far did we drift? So we measure from our DR position to our actual position. It comes to 1.1 nautical miles. We drifted 1.1 nautical miles in 0.87 hours. We used the same time from before. So 1.1 nautical miles divided by 0.7 hours, 0.87 hours equals 1.26 knots. That's the drift. So our set was 141 degrees true. Our drift was 1.26 knots. And that's how we do a unknown current problem finding the set and drift that acted on us.